What is up guys, my name is Mark Wagner and today I'm going to be showing you a few AliExpress hacks that I really wish I knew when I first started dropshipping. The first one is not exactly a hack but it definitely needs to be said. When you're signing up for AliExpress, be sure to use an email that you don't use much anymore and don't get notifications for because AliExpress will send you order notifications that you cannot turn off and that gets really annoying when you have a lot of orders. The second AliExpress hack is anonymous packaging. You're not going to be able to get 100% anonymous packaging when you're buying from AliExpress because there's going to be a bunch of Chinese writing on the outside of the packages plus a value which is required by customs. However, you are going to be able to help it look a little bit more professional by including an order note when you're purchasing the item that looks something like this. Here's what the packaging is going to look like. As you can see, unfortunately, there's Chinese writing all over it. There is a way to eliminate that Chinese writing and also decrease shipping time. Sound too good to be true? It kind of is. There's a way that you can sort on AliExpress to find products that can be shipped from the US. These products are generally more expensive and they're kind of rare to find. However, it's still great if you can find one. The next hack is how not to get your account closed. Many of you know that when you order your first couple products, you're going to get your account flagged and you're not going to be able to order anymore. This is because the shipping address and the billing address are different and it makes it seem like it's fraud. You're going to have to submit an appeal and go through a whole process which takes a couple days. That is unavoidable. However, if you don't want to get your account flagged after that, there's a way that you can verify it with Alipay. I personally haven't been able to test this method because I'm under 18 and it requires sending in your ID, but I've heard it's the best option. I'm going to leave a link in the comments to verify your Alipay account. The last hack is to know your locations. This only comes with experience, but there are a couple pointers that I can give you. For example, there's certain countries that I just don't ship to because the order is not going to arrive. These include Malaysia, India, basically all of Africa, and a couple of other countries. Another part of knowing locations is the shipping method that you select. For example, I always ship my US, Canada, and a couple other countries with ePacket. However, I won't pay for ePacket if it's in New Zealand or Australia because they're right by China and it only takes like two weeks to arrive. In that case, I don't want to pay the extra for ePacket. Let me know if you enjoyed this video or if you have any AliExpress hacks of your own. You guys have an awesome day and I'll see you in the next one.